A finance professor just proved that AI can beat human stock analysts at their own game, and the results are so shocking that hedge funds are scrambling to get their hands on this technology. Meet Alejandro Lopez Lira, a University of Florida finance professor who decided to test whether ChatGPT could predict stock movements. What started as a simple experiment turned into something that would shake the financial world. He fed ChatGPT news headlines and asked it one basic question, is this good or bad for the stock? The AI's predictions generated a 512% return. Yeah, you heard that right, 512%. But here's where it gets really interesting. Lopez Lira didn't stop there. He's now using the most advanced AI models available, OpenAI's O3, XAI's Grok3, and DeepSeek R1 to create investment portfolios. And he's removing all the training wheels, letting these AIs decide everything, which stocks to pick, how much to invest in each one, even whether to include bonds or other assets. It's like giving the keys to your investment account to a robot and saying, go wild. So how does this actually work? Think of AI stock picking like having a super intelligent assistant who can read every news article, analyze every financial report, and spot patterns in market data, all in seconds. These AI systems process over 10,000 data points per stock every single day. That's more information than a human analyst could digest in a month. Take Danilfin, one of the leading AI stock picking platforms. Their system generated returns of 263% from 2017 to 2024, while the S&P 500 only returned 189%. They analyzed 900 different indicators, everything from technical patterns to social media sentiment. When they give a stock their highest score of 10 out of 10, it outperforms the market by an average of 14.69% over three months. Stocks with their lowest score? They underperform by a crushing 37%. Alt Index claims their AI picks have a 70% win rate with average gains of 22% over six months. They're not just looking at traditional financial data, either. They're tracking web traffic, social media buzz, employee satisfaction scores, basically anything that might give them an edge. But the real game changer happened when Lopez Lira started testing different AI models against each other. ChatGPT turned out to be brilliant at understanding complex market dynamics. In one example, a company announced they were settling litigation and paying a fine. Traditional sentiment analysis would mark this as negative news, but ChatGPT correctly reasoned that settling meant uncertainty was removed, which was actually good for the stock price. DeepSeek, the Chinese AI that shocked Silicon Valley by matching American models at a fraction of the cost, shows different strengths. It's incredible at mathematical calculations and technical analysis, but doesn't quite match ChatGPT's ability to understand the nuances of market psychology. The information DeepSeek identifies tends to be immediately priced into stocks, while ChatGPT's insights can predict returns for up to six months. And then there's Grok3, Elon Musk's latest creation. This AI model is pulling in 8 terabytes of data daily from X, formerly Twitter, giving it real-time insights into market sentiment that other models can't match. It's like having a direct pipeline to what millions of investors are thinking right now. What makes this even crazier is that these AI systems are getting better every single day. Lopez Lira discovered that there's a critical threshold in AI capabilities. Once a model reaches a certain level of sophistication, it suddenly becomes profitable at predicting stocks. We've just crossed that threshold. The real world results are already rolling in. Investment apps using AI are popping up everywhere. CoreWeave, which just went public, saw its revenue grow from basically nothing to $1.9 billion in just two years by providing AI infrastructure to companies like Microsoft and OpenAI. Wall Street analysts who are rated as buy by AI systems beat the S&P 500 by 98.4% last year. But here's the thing that should really make you think. Lopez Lira says the basic ChatGPT trading strategy has probably already stopped working. 
Why? Because once everyone starts using the same AI insights, the market adjusts, the edge disappears. It's an arms race now. Whoever has the most advanced AI wins. This isn't just about making money anymore. We're talking about a fundamental shift in how financial markets work. Remember, trading is a zero-sum game. For every winner, there's a loser. If AI becomes the dominant force in stock picking, what happens to the millions of financial analysts around the world? What happens to mutual fund managers who charge hefty fees for picking stocks? Lopez Lira himself admits he was shocked by the results. He expected AI to be decent at analyzing stocks, but not this good. In his latest experiments with machine learning, he tested 200 different investing theories. The AI discovered that a specific ratio involving sales from acquisitions and rental expenses could generate monthly returns of 1.03% after 2012. Traditional methods, less than 0.1%. The democratization angle is huge, too. These AI tools used to cost millions and were only available to massive hedge funds. Now, you can access professional-grade AI analysis for the price of a Netflix subscription. Some platforms even offer free tiers. It's like giving everyone on Main Street the same weapons as Wall Street. So what does this mean for you? Well, if you're still picking stocks based on gut feeling or following talking heads on TV, you might want to reconsider your strategy. The game has changed. AI doesn't get emotional. It doesn't panic sell. It doesn't fall in love with a stock. It just processes data and probabilities. But don't think you can just turn on an AI and print money. These systems work best for specific types of predictions, usually short to medium term movements based on news and data. They're not great at predicting black swan events or understanding completely new market conditions. And remember, as more people use these tools, their effectiveness will likely decrease. The bigger picture is even more fascinating. We're witnessing the birth of a new type of intelligence in financial markets. These AIs are finding patterns and connections that humans never noticed. They're literally discovering new laws of finance. What do you think happens when AI models become even more powerful? When they can process not just text and numbers, but video feeds from CEO presentations, satellite imagery of retail parking lots, or real-time supply chain data? Here's my prediction. Within five years, trying to beat the market without AI assistance will be like bringing a knife to a gunfight. The question isn't whether AI will dominate stock picking, it's how fast it will happen and who will be left standing when the dust settles. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.